for bringing young people's ideas into the analysis and planning for climate change and sea level rise, the UC Berkeley Center for Cities and Schools Y Plan is getting special recognition. The Y Plan methodology supported nearly 800 students in 13 schools across five cities who participated in Resilient by Design, a regional challenge that brought together local, national, and international experts to develop community based solutions to climate change. Young people do bring a different voice to the equation. We also work in urban public schools, so the majority of our students, overwhelming majority of our students are low-income students of color. So we're not only bridging gaps of age, but we're also bridging the gaps of race and income level and um, power dynamic. Some things I don't want to change in East Palo Alto are places like the Baylands in which people may not see the use or beauty of it right away. For a Y plan, we went on a field trip to a place where no one in Richmond really knows about, not even us, if they didn't introduce it to us through the program. We went as a class and we observed the land and we came up with our own ideas. These urban low-income young people of color and their city leaders are starting to see each other as on the same sides. And then they're bringing innovative ideas to the table that are different and sometimes simple and sometimes not that expensive, but are important and meaningful and um, concrete policy suggestions. Why plan gives our students the opportunity to find their voice in the community. Students have to think of what they want their world to be like and create for that. They're asking us. I noticed that students are waking up to we're the ones who create change. Mm -hmm.